The Surveyor Model SD-1 was the first spacecraft of the Surveyor program launched by NASA in the 1960s. This program aimed to explore the Moon and gather information about its surface, geology, and other features. The SD-1 was an unmanned spacecraft that was sent to the Moon to test the technology and systems that would be used in the later missions. The SD-1 was launched on May 30, 1966, from the Cape Kennedy Air Force Station in Florida. It was designed to land on the Moon's surface and carry out various experiments and tests. The spacecraft was equipped with a television camera that could take pictures of the Moon's surface and send them back to Earth. One of the most important objectives of the SD-1 mission was to test the spacecraft's landing system. The spacecraft was designed to make a soft landing on the Moon's surface and then remain stationary while it carried out its experiments. The landing system consisted of a series of retro rockets that would slow the spacecraft's descent and allow it to land gently on the Moon's surface. Another important aspect of the SD-1 mission was to test the spacecraft's communication systems. The spacecraft was equipped with an antenna that could transmit data and images back to Earth. The communication system was crucial for the success of the mission, as it allowed NASA scientists to receive information about the Moon's surface in real time. The SD-1 was also equipped with various scientific instruments that could measure the temperature, radiation levels, and other physical properties of the Moon's surface. These instruments were used to gather data that would help scientists understand the Moon's composition and geology. One of the most significant achievements of the SD-1 mission was the first close-up images of the Moon's surface. The spacecraft's television camera took pictures of the Moon's surface from a distance of just a few feet, providing scientists with a detailed view of the lunar landscape. Another important discovery made by the SD-1 mission was the presence of a layer of fine dust on the Moon's surface. This discovery had implications for future missions to the Moon, as it meant that landing a spacecraft on the Moon's surface could be more challenging than initially thought. Despite its success, the SD-1 mission was not without its challenges. During the landing sequence, the spacecraft's retro rockets malfunctioned, causing it to crash into the Moon's surface instead of landing softly. Despite this setback, NASA was able to gather valuable data from the mission and use it to improve future missions. The success of the SD-1 mission paved the way for future missions to the Moon, such as the Apollo program. The technology and systems developed for the SD-1 mission were used in later missions, and the data gathered by the spacecraft helped scientists understand the Moon's surface and geology better. In conclusion, the Surveyor Model SD-1 was a groundbreaking spacecraft that played a crucial role in the early exploration of the Moon. Its success paved the way for future missions to the Moon and helped scientists understand the Moon's surface and geology better. The spacecraft's landing system, communication systems, and scientific instruments were all crucial for the success of the mission and laid the groundwork for future missions. Despite its challenges, the SD-1 mission was a significant achievement for NASA and the scientific community as a whole. The Surveyor Model SD-1 was not only the first spacecraft of the Surveyor program but also the first soft landing on the Moon by an American spacecraft. Before the SD-1 mission, the Soviet Union had already achieved soft landings on the Moon with their Luna program, but the United States had not yet achieved this milestone. The SD-1 spacecraft was designed to operate for at least two weeks on the Moon's surface. During this time, it carried out various experiments and tests, such as drilling into the Moon's surface to collect samples and analyzing the composition of the samples. The SD-1 mission was also an important step towards the goal of sending humans to the Moon. By testing the technology and systems that would be used in future missions, NASA was able to gain valuable experience and knowledge that would help them achieve this goal. One of the key challenges of the SD-1 mission was navigating the spacecraft to the Moon's surface. At the time, there were still many unknowns about the Moon's gravitational field, which made it difficult to calculate the spacecraft's trajectory accurately. NASA engineers had to use complex calculations and simulations to ensure that the spacecraft would land safely on the Moon's surface. The SD-1 mission was not only a scientific achievement but also a technological one. The spacecraft was designed and built using cutting-edge technology at the time, such as transistors and integrated circuits. These technological advancements helped make the mission possible and paved the way for future space exploration. The SD-1 mission was also significant in terms of international relations. At the time, the United States and the Soviet Union were engaged in a space race, each trying to achieve milestones in space exploration before the other. The success of the SD-1 mission was a significant achievement for the United States and helped boost the country's prestige in the international community. The data gathered by the SD-1 spacecraft was not only important for scientists but also for engineers and designers working on future spacecraft. 
The spacecraft systems and technology were analyzed and studied to improve future missions and make them more efficient and effective. The SD-1 mission was not without its risks. Sending a spacecraft to the moon and attempting to land it safely on the surface was a complex and dangerous undertaking. There was always the risk of the spacecraft malfunctioning or crashing into the moon's surface, which could result in the loss of the spacecraft and the data it had gathered. Despite these risks, NASA was determined to push the boundaries of space exploration and achieve new milestones. The success of the SD-1 mission was a testament to the agency's determination and commitment to advancing scientific knowledge and technology. In conclusion, the Surveyor Model SD-1 was a significant achievement for NASA and the scientific community as a whole. It paved the way for future missions to the Moon and helped scientists understand the lunar surface and geology better. The mission was not without its challenges, but it demonstrated NASA's determination and commitment to space exploration and set the stage for future missions to come. The SD-1 mission was not only a scientific and technological achievement but also a feat of engineering. The spacecraft was designed to withstand the harsh environment of space and the Moon's surface, withstanding extreme temperatures, radiation, and micrometeoroids. It was also designed to be lightweight and compact, making it easier to launch into space. One of the key instruments on the SD-1 spacecraft was the TV camera. This camera was used to transmit images of the Moon's surface back to Earth, allowing scientists to study and analyze the terrain. The camera was also used to monitor the spacecraft's descent and landing on the Moon's surface. The SD-1 spacecraft was not the first spacecraft to visit the Moon. The Soviet Union had already achieved this milestone with their Luna program, which had sent several spacecraft to the Moon's surface. However, the SD-1 mission was the first soft landing on the Moon by an American spacecraft, making it a significant achievement for NASA and the United States. The SD-1 mission was part of a larger program called the Surveyor Program. The goal of this program was to send a series of spacecraft to the Moon to study and explore its surface. The SD-1 mission was the first of seven Surveyor missions that were launched between 1966 and 1968. The success of the SD-1 mission was a significant milestone in the history of space exploration. It demonstrated that it was possible to send a spacecraft to the Moon and land it safely on the surface, paving the way for future missions and laying the groundwork for the Apollo program. The data gathered by the SD-1 spacecraft was not only important for scientists studying the Moon but also for engineers and designers working on future spacecraft. The spacecraft systems and technology were analyzed and studied to improve future missions and make them more efficient and effective. The SD-1 spacecraft was not the only spacecraft in the Surveyor program to achieve success. The Surveyor 3 spacecraft, which was launched in 1967, also achieved a soft landing on the Moon's surface and was visited by the Apollo 12 crew in 1969. The crew collected parts of the spacecraft to study the effects of long-term exposure to the lunar environment. The SD-1 mission was not only a scientific and technological achievement but also a symbol of human achievement. It demonstrated that humans had the capability to explore and study other worlds, pushing the boundaries of what was possible and expanding our understanding of the universe. The SD-1 spacecraft was not designed to be a permanent fixture on the Moon's surface. After completing its mission, the spacecraft was shut down and left on the Moon's surface. It remains there to this day, a testament to human ingenuity and exploration. In conclusion, the Surveyor Model SD-1 was a significant achievement for NASA and the scientific community. It was the first soft landing on the Moon by an American spacecraft and helped pave the way for future missions to the Moon and beyond. The spacecraft's technology and systems were analyzed and studied to improve future missions, making space exploration more efficient and effective. The success of the SD-1 mission was a testament to human ingenuity and exploration, pushing the boundaries of what was possible and expanding our understanding of the universe.